Hi everybody, it's me Paul again and I'm going to show you today how to maybe recover from an error on your BIM360 team. Perhaps it's possible that for an inadvertent reason somebody has uh, deleted your files. Over here you can see on BIM360 team I've got some work in progress folders. Specifically I'm interested in the structural folder. You'll see there are no files in the root folder and there are no files within the BIM folder supposed to house the BIM models. Similarly, if I go into Revit, now those of you who use Collaboration and more Revit should know that in the root folder there's a hidden file that Collaboration for Revit uses when you publish it and it does publish that the first time that you initiate the file. It appears over here in the root folder. So we just want to check also, are there any of these files in there? So I go open project and then you'll see two BIM icons here. The first is BIM360 which is the cloud-based 360 place, if you can call it that. There is our structural folder and I can see there are no files in here. That BIM team folder where you can see micrographics, that's our hub. And there you can imagine that to be, not imagine it is, the shared folder that is shared down to my hard drive from BIM360 team and there as well I can see there are no folders, no, no Revit files within the root folder or within the BIM folder over there. So luckily for me uh, somebody had archived my structural models and I can recover from the latest version that I've got here and that is what I want to do next. I want to show you how to go about doing that in a way that maybe makes sense to you and so I can browse there. When I open that central file I'm going to audit and detach from central and open. Detach and preserve work sets. Now what you don't want to do when you open this file is you're going to have to save it as a central file again but if you want it to reside on the cloud you don't want to synchronize with that file. So as soon as I get it, it's opened, I go file save as project. It's got to be a, in the options we can see it has to be a central model. And this time I'm going to save this in my BIM360 team. That is not the cloud, that is my synchronized folder in micrographics, shared folder. There's the structural folder, there's the BIM folder. So here are my BIM models and I'm going to call this with a new revision a central file. It will be a central file and I'm going to go save. So after I've saved this I do not want to synchronize this because I want to publish it up into the cloud and if you had synchronized it the option to collaborate in the cloud wouldn't be available to you so let's go collaborate in the cloud and in which folder would I like this within the work in progress for structures and I say initiate so upon first initiating a project, it takes a little while, this is not a heavy file, but if you did have a file, it would take quite a while because it's got to A, upload the model into the cloud and B, it's got to create the cache. So the first time around it's always going to be slow, but then after that because it's only um, updating from what is different from the cache, it will be a lot faster and you shouldn't wait too long. Alright, so we're just waiting for this file to load up quickly. So if you are wondering what sort of internet connection you'll need, uh, we've got uh, 20 megabits per second symmetrical line up and down. It works very well. Uh, you could go down to about 10, but typically in South Africa we would recommend um, something like an LTE, Telcom LTE connection, or otherwise a really fast um, fiberless, uh, sorry, fiber connection. Uh, 20 up, 20 down works well, but overseas, of course, they are used to 100 megabits per second symmetrical up and down. Uh, much better performance than what we've got over here, and uh, a much clearly a 
much easier to work with the software um, in Europe or in the Americas as what it is in South Africa but a Telcom LTE line will do you well right so here you can see the central file that was created and within the root folder there is a file with exactly the same name sitting there it's getting published and behind that is the invisible um, C4R file so the way that I like to do this now is to go into Revit and to manage the cloud model and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rename this model to indicate that it is a collaboration for Revit model that is being synchronized so one of the optional commands over here is that one may rename this file I'm going to replace the word central with cloud and perhaps indicating that it is an ongoing linear progression and that the previous central file shouldn't be used there I increase the minor uh, revision to 8 and I say rename and now I can once again it's been synchronized let's go and have a look at our team refresh the view on the browser okay let's make a small change within Revit maybe just quickly draw a model line synchronize and then we're going to publish that again right there it is busy publishing and the name has increased to 8 the minor revision the name is now increased so the next thing I'm going to do, I want this file which is the published copy to reside within the BIM folder and so I'll move it into the BIM folder move and it's gone from here the collaboration for Revit file is still there but the published file is within BIM there it is, version 2 right let's see what happens when I synchronize the file again and then I'm going to publish it again version 3 I refresh the page that's now version 3 within the browser 
our Windows browser within the root folder you can see there's no Revit file in other words the collaboration for Revit file is invisible and there we have our latest file sitting on the server so of course the um, any links that pertain to these models must also then be updated so that's possibly one way for you to handle uh, recovering from a major error or maybe uh, somebody deleted your files you've got it archived and you want to get them back uh, that is one way that you can go about it well I hope you guys have enjoyed this and